guys, I thought I'd do a what I eat in a day video, a lockdown version. And I think the thing I've enjoyed most about quarantine is having a bit more time to make some delicious meals. So I wanted to show you what I do. And it's 8.15 now, so I just woke up. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I love coming down before the rest of my family's awake. So I have the kitchen to myself and some peaceful time just to make my breakfast and enjoy it. So today I'm gonna make avocado on toast and I'm gonna have it with some smoked salmon and some green tea. And then I'm gonna decide what I want on top. Sometimes I like feta, coriander, chili. Other times I have lemon juice, salt, super simple. So we'll see what we have in the fridge. So this is my favorite green tea to use. It's the jasmine green tea from Twinings. I find it's much easier to drink than the normal green tea. It's definitely a lot more mild. So if you want to get into drinking green tea but you find the normal stuff quite bitter, then I definitely recommend this. I don't like to infuse it for too long, I just leave it for a couple of seconds. So this is my finished breakfast. I've got lots of smoked salmon. I've got the sliced avocado and sourdough with some sea salt flakes and lemon juice. And then I've got my green tea and some water. So super simple, super delicious, and really good for you as well. And I'm just gonna put some black pepper on and then I'm ready to eat. Hi guys, so it's 12.30 now. I'm about to make my lunch. I spent the morning packing up orders for my nut butters which you can see in the background, I've got all my boxes there and all my nut butters. So for lunch, I think I'm gonna make a salad and it's actually perfect timing because I just ordered some more of my favorite mustard, which is the Mai mustard. And I get the black truffle and I think it's white wine mustard. And it's so delicious. It's so good in all salad dressings. And I feel like if you have something like this, it is on the pricey side, but it just makes the salad so much better. So I'm gonna make a simple honey mustard dressing and then I'm gonna use rocket, tomatoes, avocado, and maybe some feta. I do feel like most of my salads do have cheese and I just think it makes them so much tastier and more filling. So that's what I'm gonna do for lunch. And then I might have some apple slices with my almond butter and then some of my vitamins as well. So I've been taking these for the last month, which is vitamin D tablets. And I do feel like they've really helped me. And I also take these kefir tablets. So I had glandular fever two years ago. So I've been trying to take vitamins which will kind of calm inflammation and kind of help my energy levels. And these have been particularly good for that. So I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest mustard honey dressing. And I use leftover nut butter jars to shake up the dressing. And the great thing about this is I can then store any leftover dressing in these jars and leave it in the fridge. And then the next day when I'm lazy or pushed for time, I've got a salad dressing ready for me. So these are all of the ingredients for the honey mustard dressing. And this is the black truffle white wine mustard. 
So it's super easy to remember because you just need one tablespoon of everything. So I've got the mustard, honey, balsamic vinegar, some lemon juice, one clove of garlic, and then I add about three to four tablespoons of olive oil and then I taste it and then I add a little bit more olive oil if I need it. And then I finish off with some salt and pepper. So it's super easy to remember and so delicious. So this is the finished salad. It's honestly such a delicious lunch. It's super filling because you've got avocado in there and feta and the dressing really makes it. Adds so much zing and flavor. And I also sprinkle over some sunflower seeds for extra goodness and some chili flakes too. I got sent these amazing focaccia sandwiches by Bread and Truffle. So I had some as an afternoon snack. In the afternoon, we always make a coffee and we started grinding our own beans and we bought an espresso arachino, which is amazing for frothing milk. And we use Oatly, which definitely gives the best consistency. And we recently discovered this amazing coffee brand called Rave Coffee, and it makes such a difference. We don't buy coffee shop coffee anymore because the stuff we make at home is just so much better. now 6 30 p.m i just got back from a really long walk so i'm absolutely starving and ready to make myself some dinner so today i'm going to make a soba noodle bowl with some sweet potato wedges lots of veggies and the most delicious tahini ginger dressing and the great thing about this is you can really use whatever leftover veggies you have in the fridge and the dressing really makes it something special so i'm going to put the sweet potato wedges in the oven and then whilst those are cooking i'll just chop up some ingredients cook my noodles and then all i have to do is put everything in a bowl together and drizzle over the dressing. It's super easy and one of the most nutritious, delicious dishes. I like to peel my sweet potatoes because the skin gets quite dirty and then I cut them into small wedges so they cook as quickly as possible. So I've preheated the oven to 200 degrees Celsius and these are gonna roast for about 45 to 50 minutes until they're caramelized and soft inside. I line a roasting tin with foil just to make it easier to wash up and then I put the sweet potatoes in and drizzle over some olive oil and a big pinch of salt. Give them a good stir just to make sure they're evenly coated with the oil and salt. 
Now it's time to make the dressing. I add two tablespoons of tahini to a bowl with a tablespoon of sesame oil, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a teaspoon of maple syrup, and a tablespoon of lemon or lime juice. Stir everything together until smooth and creamy. Add a splash of water to thin down the dressing. I like to use the tip of a teaspoon to peel the ginger because I find it wastes a lot less than using a knife. I like to grate the ginger so that it's evenly dispersed in the dressing and I add about a heap teaspoon of the ginger because it gives the dressing a wonderful zing. Now it's time to prep the veggies. I'm starting with tender stem broccoli, which I've rinsed, and now I'm just going to chop it in half. Then I cut about a quarter of a cucumber into little cubes. I love adding avocado to salads. I find it makes them a lot more filling and adds a wonderful creaminess. So here I'm peeling the avocado and then I'm going to slice it because it looks really nice, but also I think it tastes better than just mashing it. I'm using soba noodles here, which are made from buckwheat flour, which is naturally gluten free, but it gives them a delicious nuttiness and also tastes really good cold because they have a slightly firmer texture than a normal noodle. These will take a couple of minutes to cook, but you want to keep your eye on them because you don't want to overcook them. And also a lot of foam will rise up and you don't want it to overflow out of the pan. The key to the perfect soba noodle is to drain them and then rinse them under cold water. This gets rid of any sliminess and also stops them from overcooking. Now it's time to cook the tender stem broccoli. I add them to a pan of boiling water and I cook them for a couple of minutes. I like them to stay crunchy, so I drain them and rinse them with cold water so they don't overcook and keep their vibrant green color. So now everything is ready. We've got all of the veggies, the dressing, some spinach, the tender stem broccoli and the soba noodles are perfectly cooked and the sweet potato wedges have just come out of the oven and they're beautiful and golden and caramelized on the outside. So now it's time to assemble everything. I like to put everything in a separate position in the bowl so that it looks really pretty. So I add the soba noodles first. Then I add a handful of cucumber to each bowl. Some of the tender stem broccoli. Lots of sweet potato wedges. And then of course the sliced avocado. A handful of coriander. And lots of the tahini ginger dressing. It's the dressing that really makes this salad. It's honestly incredible. I often make extra so that I can have it with grilled vegetables throughout the week. I also love that the sweet potato wedges are hot and then the soba noodles and the veggies are slightly cooler. 
it just works really well. I like to sprinkle over some sesame seeds. It tastes really good, but also looks nice. And I use a mixture of normal white sesame seeds and black sesame seeds. And then I sprinkle over some chili flakes for an extra kick. So this is what the finished Buddha bowl looks like. It's super delicious, easy to make and full of goodness. So I just finished dinner, it was so delicious and super filling as well. And I had some Alfonso mango, which is the orange Indian mangoes which are in season at the moment and they're so good. They're nothing like the normal mangoes you buy in the supermarket. And then I also had a glass of miso soup just because I had it left over from yesterday. And I think I forgot to film two clips. I forgot to film, I had a pear after breakfast and after lunch I had apple slices with my almond and espresso butter. But apart from that, this is everything I ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. And let me know down below in the comments what kind of things you'd like to see. If you want to see more what I eat in a day videos or if you just want to see single recipe videos, I'd really love to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching.